hey guys welcome back so i'm going to start my makeup guys so i did my brows off camera and i'm going to start my makeup i don't really know the look that i'm going for today so we are going to figure it out together but i know this look is gonna be bomb as f so you know let's just keep, keep it going so guys i'm gonna start by doing my foundation first and the foundation that i'm gonna be using is maybelline fits me foundation i already applied my primer so as you can see that is the um white thing on my face and the primer that i used is remove steam as primer very good for oily skin so i'm just gonna go ahead and, and apply my foundation i have been breaking out like crazy these days i don't know what i have been eating um but i guess whatever i'm eating is you know appearing on my skin so i think i need to figure it out and stop i really do love this Maybelline fit me foundation because you know i'm a content creator and i'm not that big content creator so it's very very hard for me to get sponsored by makeup brands so you know this is very affordable for me especially taking um instagram pictures here and there i use this as my um like everyday makeup um foundation guys i have my daughter playing around here so you you'll be hearing her making some noise and yeah so as i was saying i use the foundation this foundation as my everyday like foundation because it's very affordable and it's a full coverage and i have even though i have oily skin i still use the normal to dry skin because it's i'm not going for a very dry you know makeup look i'm going for like a dewy look so yeah When applying your foundation just make sure you take your time and make sure you blend because blending is the key to makeup i hate it when i see people's makeup so harsh especially with the contour you see a harsh line that really you know <laughs> messes with my mind but yeah if you're a beginner i don't even think if you're a beginner you should be contouring you know there are so many ways that you can contour you don't have to be using the much you know the those much sticks to contour um if you don't really know how to blend your makeup yet so guys i'm applying my elegant pro hd concealer and i'm just gonna highlight my face with that um trust me this look is going to be very very simple because i'm doing like a, a beginner friendly look so it's going to be very very simple so guys i wanted us to talk i don't know if talking i want to put a mirror here because i can't say nothing i don't know if my um background noise is going to distract the talking but i wanted us to have a discussion you know youth discussion on what is going on today in our society um as you know if you know then you know my name is ethia i am a ghanaian um i lived in ghana all my life and i moved to the states not long ago i would say i moved to the states like seven i would say eight years ago and i've been living in the states for a while but i do go to ghana to visit most of the time and i follow ghana news entertainment news most of the time and i get so upset by what is going on in the media these days in my country so guys as you can see i'm blending my foundation using my brush um i usually do this if you watch most of my makeup tutorials um it's not that i'm skipping subjects but i just wanted to talk about the tutorial real quick because this is the main reason why i'm doing this video so yeah so as you can see i'm just blending and making sure that my face is well blended but if i use the brush it's you know it blends everything really well that is why i like to use the brush when i was starting off with makeup i wasn't able to use brush most of the time my lips is dry for some reason but i don't want to apply anything on my lips because 
I'm going to do my lips later. And sometimes when you put lip gloss on your lips, it doesn't pick the print so, so well. So yeah. As I was saying, when I started doing makeup, I couldn't use brush to do makeup. Like it was so hard. I could see people using brush and I was like, how are they doing it? I was like, damn, how are they doing it? So I started watching videos and you know trying to teach myself how to use the brush and now I'm like so addicted to using brush. I don't I don't remember the last time I used Punch Beauty Blender to blend. So yeah. So let's continue with the topic like what I was saying in you know Ghana entertainment you know industry. The main reason why I am saying this is like most of the Ghanaians these days are showing their assets like what they are doing the youth these days are showing what they got but they are not really telling people what they do to get their money and they say it's hard work but let's be real like let's be realistic Ghana is hard I'm telling you Ghana it's not easy to make it in Ghana so if somebody makes it in Ghana you 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 sit there and you ask yourself like how are they doing it you know you know there are some people who are doing genuine jobs there are some people who are you know making money genuinely but there are others who are also out there doing things that they are not supposed to do to make money so you know as i would just advise the youth like when you see that somebody is making it in life please please don't judge yourself for it don't be like i want to be like this person so i'm going to do anything to make that money so guys i'm using my maybelline fix me 360 um powder and i'm using that as a contour so if you're a beginner friendly guys i'm just advising you if you're a beginner friendly there's no need to use the stick because the stick is very hard to blend just get yourself some powder that is darker skin tone and just you know just use that to contour your face i have tried this thing and i know how you know hard it is to blend this thing so that is why i'm saying that and this will blend everything so good and i also use my cover girl queen bronzer to contour as well this bronzer is very good for melanin skin i don't know about the darker 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 skin tone because i am not really like dark 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 but this does the work for me so yeah i'm just gonna use that as well and it's gonna define my face because as you can see i have a round face so it's very very hard to shape my face so i always have to contour my face to give my face a definition you know So as I was saying, don't judge yourself. Don't be like, I want to be like this person. And why is this person making it and I'm not making it? Most time is the best. Um, you never know what somebody is doing to make those things. You don't know how people are faking in the industry to tell people that they are rich, but they are not. So, yeah. so the reason why I'm saying this is because I saw an interview on the YouTube um Kalamika for his interview and you know they were interviewing her about her house her new house that she got with her husband and she was like yeah we have like five houses and you know um and this house is for my daughter like majesty whatever i like i don't know if it's a girl or boy because i don't really follow her that much so so she was like that blah blah and i was like damn do you really have to say all that you know to prove to people that you guys are really making it there because i wasn't really getting the point and also i was thinking about it i'm like oh let me fix my bra I'm like whoa so they have like five houses so I would say this is the sixth house so I was like wait a minute they had all these houses and guys I'm going to use my Sasha Buttercup setting powder so the powder that I used to set my concealer first was my Maybelline Fit Me powder and this is in the color 330 and this is a lighter shade so yes yeah. and then I go on top with my Sasha Buttercup setting powder guys if you follow me if you really watch my videos I don't really change products that much 
I am always into one routine, one product. And most of the times I just switch my routine here and there. But this routine that I'm doing really does the work. It's very easy to do your makeup when you follow this routine. So yes. So as I was saying, I was asking myself like, whoa, they have five houses. Like, Fella McCaffrey is like 21, 22 years old. And, it's, and her husband is very, very young. I get it. She she was you know she's she's a hard working girl i get it she has like 20 um, 2 million followers if she was living in the states she would have been making a whole lot of money with that amount of followers on you know instagram because you know ghana in ghana there's not so much you know brands to promote but in the u.s there are so many brands so many where's the charger Ghana house is not cheap, you know. Ghana house is not cheap. How old were you when you guys were building like six houses? And what, what, what are you guys doing? Like, what money? What work? Because I get it. Like, yeah, I know. I heard um, allegedly that her husband, sorry, is a fraud boy. I don't want to talk about that part because I don't know if it's true or not. That's their business, but to tell the youth that you have five to six houses that you are rich doesn't really make sense to me because just tell them what you do to make the money because i remember her first interview when she was not with um medical maybe she was with medical but in secret but when she was not out with medical she was telling the youth that she she was praying she was working hard for her money and all of a sudden i saw on the news that the man who bought her all those cars and house and blah 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 came for his stuff so ever since then i never heard from her like you know bragging about what they have i know she sometimes brag about her phone and her, you know going out there and blah 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 but since then i never heard about them i don't follow her so i don't really know what's going on you know i'm not obsessed with celebrities and all that you know i just see it sometimes it comes across my youtube page and i just watch here and there. i'm like okay close to you but congratulations to her if she has like six houses it's you congratulations but it's not that easy to get a six houses to even get a house, one house in ghana so she's doing very well and that's good but the youth out there believe me don't think it's that easy don't say you want to go for juju because like these days on the news everybody's killing like rituals they are going for money rituals and all that it's not worth it and these are the things that lead these are the kind of interviews you know and the things that leads to people trying to make it in life even though if they don't have they still you know trying every means legally or illegally to make money so guys i'm going to use this shade from my morphe palette and this is one of my favorite shades so as you can see it's almost done but i'm going to use that as my transitioning color so i'm going to use a darker shade from this palette don't mind me my palette is looking so ghetto yeah i know because this palette is one of my favorite palettes and i use it a lot so i think i have to clean it i don't even know how to do it though but hey just gonna go in
So underneath my eyes, I'm gonna use this shade right here. It's a smoky shade, and I'm gonna use that underneath my waterline. 